In this video, we are going to show how to use the Firefox browser as a public facing kiosk on the CLI LX3 thin client. So we're going to start with showing this is the user desktop that comes up and you can see Firefox is uh, already on the user desktop. So we're just going to double click it and open it. And we've already set up this particular browser to start to come to the computer lab international website. But you can see there's a URL line and and there's also the, the start page that comes up and we really want to lock this down because the public will be using this and we don't want them to uh, get out to the internet by accessing it by the URL line. So we're going to go ahead and launch the preferences. We've already set up the computer lab website to be the current page when the browser starts up it's going to show that page. We do not want uh, Firefox to check if it's the default browser, although we could use Chrome or Firefox on this. Uh, we're, we're already installed Firefox and decided that's the one we're going to use. I'm going to click on the advanced, I'm going to check, never check for updates, and I'm going to go ahead and close the preferences. Close the browser and that will come back up. Now we're going to install an add-on for Firefox called R kiosk. So we're going to search for our kiosk and that's going to come up here our kiosk for Firefox and we're just going to go ahead and add that to Firefox so it goes ahead and downloads it, installs it and then we're going to close this and it says restart now so what it does is it removes all of the access for the user to get to the internet. So now that the browser is restarted, we're going to go ahead and restart the thin client so that that change takes effect. And this just takes a few moments so that uh, we're waiting now for the device to restart. When it comes back up, it's going to auto start that Firefox on the user desktop. We can also set it to auto launch for the user. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and just give them the icon on the desktop and allow them to start it up because that's really all they can do here. So we'll go ahead and start the Firefox web browser. And you'll notice that it comes up in the full screen and it comes up to the page that I want. You can also notice that it's locked down, there's no URL line. Uh, I can go ahead and move around inside the website. Uh, but I'm not able to get outside of my website. So this is a very good example of how to lock down uh, the device so that a user could not uh, see anything in the operating system or get to install anything on the device.